All right, so now just as a refresher, let's take a look at this tennis ball. It hits and it, uh, the ball strikes the court at a horizontal distance of 19.6 meters from the racket. How far above the court was the ball when it was struck? Okay, all right, so what don't we have? What have I told you? The golden thing you always need to find. If you can find the time, you can solve almost any physics problem. I put it on my mama. All right, so here we go. So let's take a look at this one. All right, real quickly, we've got this. Tennis ball was struck, bang. And it goes horizontally 28 meters per second. And it went, that's the initial velocity in the X direction. It's 28 meters per second. And it, the range was 19.6 meters. Well, hold on. We know the range is equal to the V naught X times the time. So therefore, if I take 19.6 and divide it by um, uh, 28, point seven seconds. So the time was 0.7 seconds that the ball was in the air, okay? And um, so now we need to find the height, okay? We need to find the height that it was struck from. So we can just, let's just do our, let's just do our thing, all right? Let's just do this. So we've got the uh, Y final is equal to zero. Y initial, I don't know. Is that what we're after? How far? Yeah. Um, I know the time now. It's 0.7 seconds. So I can just plug this in. And I know that V naught in the Y direction was equal to zero. Now V naught X, V naught Y. Big, big difference. V naught X is equal to zero. All right. So now we just do this. Um, uh, yeah. Let's just do it this way. So now we've got, uh, and I know the acceleration. That's what's huge. So I've got zero is equal to y naught plus zero times 0.7 minus one half of 9.8. Now what I've done is I've factored out the negative sign from here already. All right. Minus that times 0.7 squared. All right. So this goes away. Add this to both sides. I wind up with 4.9 times 0.7 squared is equal to y naught, which is what I'm after. All right. And so we go 4.9 times 0.7 squared. 2.4 meters. I kind of have an issue with that. I have a real issue with that. Because think about 2.4 meters. That's like hitting it at the same height as LeBron James's head. LeBron James is 2.4 meters tall. But it's a correct answer. We got the right answer. Okay. All right. What do we got from that? So there you go. There's that one. I just I just don't think it's a reasonable solution. It's correct with what we were given. In other words, somebody was standing on a box, and that would make sense. I mean that that would that I I'd, I'd take that if if a, if a tennis coach was standing on a box and hit it hard so that they get used to a lube or something. Okay, fine. 